There's multiple pinchers and legs here. It's rounder than it is long almost. Looks like the supervisor of the side of the road team. <laughs> This right here kind of looks like a, a shad got painted pink and then grew a chartreuse head. Oh, yes! Oh! <laughs> Just shoulder <laughs> decapitation. What, what you think about the new whip? Uh, how new in what way? It's mine. This is yours? You taking over the payments? Yeah, I'll take Let's over that Let's freaking payment. go, baby! <laughs> Let's go! Let's go! Yeah, that cameraman money is flowing, baby. Yeah, I bet. I was gonna make a joke about stealing Norm's intro for this challenge, and I hit myself with the door and it just threw me way off. Oh, so. because he was like faking, he got out of my truck or something? or No, like... I was just gonna hop out of a nicer truck than mine. I don't know if oh, you guys have seen see. my truck, but it's, it's not hitting on much. It's not the best, but it also gets you from point A to point B. Which so. is all you need. What is up, my fellow Sally Whackers? Welcome back to the channel. If you guys don't know, we are on the road to 100,000 subscribers. Ooh. Hopefully by the end of the year, do me a favor, smash that subscribe button. Leave a like if you like challenges. We're about to head into Dick's Sporting Goods. Gonna let an actual Guggen destroy me. Take everything oh, out. You I, like that? You, you had like me, you had me at destroy it me. destroy me? Just like last night, baby. Uh, there Let's it is. Let's go. Let's head in the store, see what this guy can find. Is that too much for me? Ladies and gentlemen, we have made it into the store. I brought my good buddy, the beard himself. Not for much longer though, right? What, the beard? Yeah, it's gone. If we hit a million this year, I am shaving it. I want to do it because that means I would have hit a million subscribers, right. but then I also don't really want to shave my beard. You don't want the family to leave you? Yeah, I don't want my children to freak out, my yeah. wife to just hit me with like a skillet or something, you know? So. <laughs> In today's video, I want to challenge this big old Guggen Squad member himself to prepare me the worst fishing kit possible. The worst fishing kit? Worst fishing kit. But then you have to go out and catch fish on like every lure, like a slam type situation? Yeah, yeah. I'm not gonna say how many you can get. Let's but do five. Let's do five. Five's like a that. good round. Okay. That's a good number. I think five is, is the best. I agree. All right, so if I'm building you the worst fishing kit, I need like a receptacle. You know what I mean? <laughs> oh. I'm kind of thinking like maybe the cheapest one, that way. It falls apart. Yeah, it midway. just explodes, yeah. right? It's the first time you open it, the door just flies off. Exactly. And then it's like open to the elements and stuff. <laughs> this one, you know what? This one's got like a Guggen green feel to it, although it's not a Guggen tackle box. Yeah. But it's got a little green in there, which I kind of, oh wow, look at that. Oh. That's actually got a little, uh, little, little swirly dupe. Yeah. Made in China, dope. Sick. Probably will break. Instantly, dude, that's actually kind of cool. Yeah, not gonna lie. doesn't that's look pretty bad. Dope. Okay, so tackle box found. Let's try to find lure number one. Well, we know we have to get you a soft plastic. Um, what's bad? What about a baby goat? What the heck is that? <laughs> I honestly, I've never heard of that before. What does that imitate? It almost looks like a chunk trailer mixed with a tiny crawl, but the legs are okay. super small. The body is kind of weird looking. I don't know, man. That looks kind of funky to me. I'm not sure how I would use that, but at least there's a lot of options because it's so weird looking <laughs> and kind of silly. Uh, there's some options there. Yeah. You might have messed up, dude, because I could swim that I Texas know. rugged. And now I'm seeing some other stuff that kind of looks crazy too. I'm, I'm kind of regretting picking this, but it, it did just jump out at me. Like the name yeah. was kind of ridiculous. Yeah. And then I was looking at it and like, what is this even supposed to yeah. be? Where does goat even fit into this situation? Yeah, I, maybe like the greatest of all time. That's what they're trying to go with here. Oh, I don't gosh. know. But if it's the greatest of all time and it's never- It's a crawl mixed with a grub, dude. Right, there's really nothing special going on there, but hey, I mean, you know, whatever. Okay, so that's lure number one. All right. All right, so let's do two plastics for doing five lures. Okay. Have you ever seen a style of bait and a color quite like this right here? Oh man, is Look that orange that. or red? I don't even know. It it's like blood. It's got like green pumpkin, orange, red, flake. Look at the design of the damn thing. Look at that thing. Got a lot of legs going on. <laughs> so a lot. There's multiple pinchers and legs here. I think these really stink too, don't they? I don't know. Oh, oh my bait. God, oh, smell no. it, smell it. Yeah, oh. yeah. That's oh. a double whammy because it's like, it looks weird, it's a weird color and it really stinks. So when you have to, when you have to mess with it, you're gonna give it all of your fingers. Oh, so God. I'm still not convinced that scent works on yeah. bass. I just don't know if I believe that. You know what's, what's really cool about these baits? What? The fish hold on to him. <laughs> I know. I was like, how do you figure that? I want to see the science behind this. I want to see the guy in the white lab coat that's in, got a little tank and he's just like dumping different bases. Not that they bite. Right. They hold times on. More. They hold. 
on. So getting them to buy it is almost impossible, but then they will hold on to it. So that's good to know. All so, right. Good job, Power Bay. Appreciate good. it. Good. <laughs> I'm trying to get outside of the box here because the problem with hard baits, there's so many good hard baits out there, you know, or at least like okay hard baits. So I'm really trying to key in on something that at least that at least looks crazy or looks fake or I just I don't know. Just give me give me a second. All right, so I may have found the winner. Okay, so check out that bad boy right there. Nice little yellow. Oh Wait, what, what color is that even? Is that even yellow? I don't know. It's like sword chartreuse it's that... like hard chartreuse yeah, like yeah. all chartreuse there's really nothing breaking up the color it's like a like a little short kind of chunky it's like rotund yeah yeah it's, it's rounder than it is long almost. looks like the supervisor of the side of the road team <laughs> Yes, exactly like that. The guy wearing the vest, it's like he's like, all right, go do this, go do that. But he's just sitting there in a the lawn chair. Anyways, it's kind of fat. It's not, I, I'd like it to be longer. It dives five feet, which is, you know, it's okay. It's a little deep for a square bill for me. Sure. The eyes kind of look fake to me. There's yeah. also a little hole right there, which I have no idea what that's supposed to be. That's obviously supposed to be like a, like a shad dot or something okay. like that. But I don't know. So there's some things going on here. Oh, it's got self-tuning line tie. So you can't adjust the line tie, which is... What does that mean? That's like that little thing. I don't know. There's just a lot going on here. A lot more stuff to do with a lure than I would like to do. I don't want to have to tune anything when I take something <laughs> out of a package. I want to be able to tie it up and cast it. So that color right there is going to, I think it's going to be kind of tough unless you're just in a chocolate milk pond yeah, or river true. or whatever. It's going to clear water. That's going to be tough. That's going to be tough. Man. Really tough. Now it's got a nice little loud rattle. Yeah. A little can, one knock in there. I hear it. it looks, he looks cross-eyed when you look at him from that direction. <laughs> <laughs> My dude looks cross-eyed as heck. Yeah. Okay. So lure number three, buddy. Good Thanks, luck with man. that. All right, so I'm looking at the topwater frog section, but I can't just get you a topwater frog because it's summertime. And we know frogs are just catching everything right now. But what if I got you a popping bug? Look at that poop brown beetle bug oh, right there. Oh, baby. Look at that. Does that even look froggish at all? It kind of looks like a... I don't even know what that looks like. Look at the eye. It looks like a tarantula head. Oh no. With a beetle body. It's look at this. It's got one hook. It's got like one extra wide gap hook in it. What it is doesn't that? have dual hooks like a frog does. That's kind of weird. I think it's like a thread through. You're gonna have to figure this out, man. Oh, here we go. We've got instructions right here on how to rig okay. it. So that's that's nice. But our good friends at Lunker Hunt, they really know how to make a weird looking lure yep. for a lure that's just just Let's be honest, a straight gimmick. I mean, oh. it's fine. Not, I don't mean in a bad way. I just mean like you're kind of taking a topwater frog and making it look really weird. Yeah. But I have to say it does look incredibly weird. So yeah, for sure. Might make it a little bit more difficult on you than a normal topwater frog. But I want your viewers to be able to get some topwater action in this video. Yeah, so we have both. to make this one like you have to catch a fish on this one. No doubt. Have to catch a fish on this Pop one. Popping bug, baby. Anytime you walk into a saltwater section, you immediately see stuff that you've never used before, like yeah. for bass. So, But I am seeing something that looks kind of interesting here so correct me if i'm wrong is that a, not a saltwater spinnerbait right here what the heck with just a weird it's got a red head kind of i mean it's like a watermelon red pattern but it's kind of weird oh my god look at that one oh baby dude chartreuse with pink body so but it's I'm like seeing, a swim jig with a spinnerbait right i'm seeing a big like colorado blade that wow. looks like you're supposed to fish that in like a marsh like a thick yeah. Like murky Oh, like a redfish. Yeah, yeah, it's got redfish on there. Okay. Didn't, didn't even realize that. Redfish magic. Oh my God, we're so stupid. Didn't wow. even look at that at all. But hey, redfish will eat bass lures because I've caught a redfish before on a bass lure in uh, South Carolina. So, I mean, it does happen. Yeah, hopefully so, a bass will eat a redfish lure then. Right, yeah. Yeah, exactly. It goes both ways, right? Or at least it should. I'm going to give you the choice. Oh my Lord. There it is. I'm going to let you choose the colors, buddy, since I've been just squigging you yeah, over you've here. I'm going to let you get a little color choice. Well, if we're getting crazy, in going the worst this is bright i think it's going to be even harder that's, than the neutral honestly that's what i was thinking that one's a little bit more that's too like watermelon red like yeah. it looks too natural yeah, it'll right. definitely get bit we got to commit to it this right here kind of looks like a, a shad got painted pink and then grew a chartreuse head oh which wow. is very uncommon in the wild oh is it a uh, a shad that looks like that <laughs> so yeah man bait number five you got a nice little assortment here, buddy. Yeah, you squigged me. And by nice little assortment, I mean like there's no way you're catching a fish on five of these lures. <laughs> there's just no way. So which lure are you going to fail on? That's going to be the big question because I think uh, it's going to be tough for you, buddy. If you look at the lake that we are at this morning, it looks like it is going to be a little difficult to catch fish on maybe the crankbait or any of the moving baits. But I feel like the power bait stinky crawl and the baby goat, and especially the poppin' bug, could excel at lake number one. So apparently we just have like a really 
flight single hook when lojo mentioned that this wasn't a double hook i kind of expected to have at least a thicker hook this is one of my favorite lakes to fish top water frogs at and i think this is pretty much the same thing same presentation it's just imitating a massive tarantula with an orange mouth and an orange butt wow this thing does not have a good popping motion and the sun is already coming over the tree. Frick. One thing that irks me about topwater baits is whenever they dive below the surface. And this bait is made completely of plastic and it still has found a way to dive, which I hate. Got one. Oh gosh. Oh, crap, dude. Oh, I thought that was a big one, by the way. It ate. Well, that's exciting. You would expect this thing to come through the grass pretty good. It doesn't. Good gracious, this thing gets stuck in the grass so easy. Frick me. No! This light hook is just not the move. But if there's grass, I'm catching it. Grass me up, daddy. Wish the mouth wasn't so bright orange. I feel like if you wanted to be safe while you were hunting, you could just strap this guy to your forehead. Stay on. No, no, oh man, dude. At least the hook came exposed a little bit. Oh, that bites, dude, that bites. Budge. If this hook goes inside of my finger one more time, old poppin' bug's probably gonna have to meet Lojo's flamethrower pronto. Oh, yes! Let's go, dude. That fish is so tiny, but that was so perfect. It finally ejected the hook, and this fish, it's not even a, maybe a 12 incher. It had enough guts to inhale that little guy. Fat Sally. I had no idea that the popping bug was gonna be so much of just a freaking pest, dude. Just a problem. I probably got blew up by a bunch of other little half pounders, little 10 inchers, but this guy had the freaking bucket mouth. Thank goodness, I was getting a little ill. Let's get this little fish back into the water. Oh man, for some reason, I thought that bait was gonna be like the easiest bait to catch fish on because any form of a popper, a top water bait early in a grass pond, a farm pond, dude. Not just a public, like a farm pond. And we just could not get fish to commit to this lure. The bait was diving into the grass and I ended up saying, okay, if it's moving slow and they're seeing it, they definitely don't want it. But if I move it fast, maybe I can catch a fish's attention and not give it long enough to kind of process what that is. Sure enough, that fish came in there and said, oh. oh. Bait number one, done. So I got my terminal box right here. I'm not gonna be throwing any of those lures. I think I might go ahead and rig up this power bait. I wish you guys could smell this thing through the screen, but it is thick with eight C's. That's a sensitive spot. All right. Oh, yes. It's all in my hands. My wife's never gonna touch me again. I'm also gonna go ahead and rig up the spinner bait looking thing because these fish are still kind of at the surface and I'm figuring if we can catch them off guard, maybe they'll hit this thing, I don't know. All right, well, we have that rigged. I don't really know why, but we do. All right, folks, got the box right here. Put some terminal in there, two rigs, and we're heading to my favorite spot in the entire lake. 
This tree is the only isolated structure in this pond. And it seems like every time I come here, I'm able to find a couple two or three pounders hanging out. Got him. Come on, dude. Yes. Yes. That was like my third cast with this thing. Oh, he's pooping everywhere and something wet just hit my face. No, don't do it to me. What are you doing, man? Yeah, his power baits are the Taco Bell of fish bait. Good Lord, this man is explosive. Oh no, no. That was so much easier with the crawdad than with that fricking popping bug, dude. Put some wind in the sails for the rest of this challenge. Let's get this guy back into the water. Boom, baby. See you, buddy. Third cast. Thought I heard a snake under that kayak as I was trying to brag, but frick. Third cast. I was expecting a nice little bite near that tree out there. Turns out that fish was right there in the grass line. All right, let's see what this bad boy's made of. Well, that doesn't make any sense. You can't tear this thing, but it won't stay on the hook. I think it's time we move on from the spinnerbait for now. We throw one of these TRDs, these little baby goats. It has these little paddle tails, and if we can catch a couple fish on this, we might can replace the trailer to that redfish bait and somehow land a fish. But for now, I think we're gonna have to stick with this little guy, try to do some damage. So after making a few casts with the baby goat, I kind of like the way it just swims. Oh, yes, dude. My voice went out when I went to say yes, but we landed the fish. I've been fishing this lure for almost another hour. I thought the baby goat had some good signs to it, but I just couldn't find a small enough fish. I was working it just like you could, like a rooster tail or maybe a little curly tail just cruising through these little grass lines. I knew once I found a little half pounder, he would come up and crush this thing. It was just a matter of finding the fish. Took forever. Baby goat, you have done your worst. See you, buddy. So we finally caught some fish on the baby goat. It took forever, man. I don't really know why either because that bait looked mint, man. Lojo thought he had me, but we're about to transition to throwing only moving baits. We're two baits away from winning this worst lure challenge ever. I'm feeling confident. We have a couple more hours left at the lake. Fingers crossed. Bait number four. Ooh, man. Oh no, no. Okay, we're good. Tried to deep dive it one time. Oh, oh, dude, we had one follow it up. No, no, it was a dink, but it counted, no. I got a 50 pound bag in lily pad right now. No, no, no. All right, I'm moving the whole tree. No. Well, there went our shot at the worst fishing kit ever built. Slam, that fricking bites. I just had my first follower of the square bill to the bank and it just decides to go ahead and not do its job, not bounce out of that tree and catch every piece of wood in a 20 mile radius. Son of a biscuit. It's not great, but it is better. I think there is a chance we could at least catch a fish. <gasps> Whoa. There is a chance we could at least catch one fish on this thing. I hope.
fish? Yes, yes, dude. Boom, dang it, dude. Now I wanna go dive on that log and get that square bill back. This little squeaker, man, you have made my day. We cannot catch a big fish today. Oh my gosh. Oh man, something swirled right there. I'm gonna get that little guy back. Try to get in the mix. Heck yeah, so we got four out of five. It's not terrible. And I feel like we could have completed it if we didn't break that square bill off, dude. Now I'm kicking myself. Oh, that sucks, man. Oh. Gosh, dude, it has been such a long time since we got a bite. What is up with me just fishing bodies of water where the fish just have big eyes, big mouths, and tiny tummies? Oh man, he's got spots all over him. I don't know what that is. Oh my gosh, he's covered in parasites, dude. He's got little, these little things are like living on him. Oh gosh, are they on me? No. All right, let's try to remove as many of these parasites as we can. Those things look crazy. I go to one lake, all the fish are starving. I go to another, all of them have freaking parasites. What is wrong with me? Oh, sorry, man. The truth's the truth. You parasitic. I don't know if you guys can see this or not. Let's zoom you in. Those little brown spots all over this fish's stomach. Some of that's trash that comes right off. But these yellowish little things, I believe those are some sort of parasite that are feeding on this fish. Not exactly what you want to see when you're fishing one of your favorite places to fish. Now I have a knife. We're gonna try to remove as many of these as we can off this fish. Also, I hope these can't go on humans. Oh my gosh. That is so creepy, dude. It's freaking moving around and stuff. Just gonna nonchalantly rub these on my tripod. Oh man, that is so wicked, man. When I pull them off the fish, they just start pulsating. Oh gosh, this fish doesn't have too much longer out of the water. I'm gonna get as many of these off as we can. Oh, buddy. Okay, I don't see any more. I think I got most of them off of them. Let's hurry and get them back in. I know this has to be stressful. All right, buddy. There you go. Enjoy a life without parasites, man. Get your whereabouts. Go get some weight back on you. Stay out of those sketchy back alleys or wherever you picked up that sickness, buddy. Well, fellow Saddlewhackers, that's not really something that, uh, that you set out to do. Me and my wife's family friends own this lake and you never want to catch a fish with parasites just covering its stomach. It's not a good thing. It's never a good thing to see a parasite. But to see that many on one fish is scary. I left them all out of the water, obviously. Hopefully, they don't live on land. I was just sliding my knife down the stomach and like three parasites would fall off over and over and over. I put them all on my tripod for, I don't even, I don't know. But if any of you watching have ever seen a parasite like this on a fish before, I would love to let the owners of this pond know what they have going on with their fish. Parasites spook me out, man. Ugh. Hope those aren't crawling down my ears and throat right now. But we were able to save that fish nonetheless, at least for now. Hopefully we got all the parasites off of the fish and it can stay out of them creepy back alleys wherever it picked up that disease. If you know anything about fish parasites or the exact parasite that we found today, comment down below and maybe we can do something about these fish or maybe the parasite was limited to just one fish. That would be freaking ideal. I have no idea. I just know that they scare me and I'll probably have multiple nightmares. I'm gonna need to wash my hands for three hours and then burn them. We were so close to landing that fifth fish and completing the worst lure challenge, worst kit ever built by a Guggen member. But we fell short, folks. Sucks, cause I'm a competitive guy. It is what it is. We gave it our best try. Next video. We're not taking any L's. If you're new to the channel and you haven't already, please uh, check out that subscribe button. Maybe give it a click or something like that. Leave a like if you enjoyed today's video and I will catch you guys 
on the next video. I love you guys. You mean the world to me. Can't wait to see you again. Peace.